Now, there are seven ranch hands to fit the bill of tall, dark, and handsome, but in order to figure out which one was fooling around with Whitney, we have to first determine who of them are married. That means we need to go on a wedding ring search, and these are the possibilities. So I split their classes up between us. Whoa, hold up. Harmonica for beginners, cowboy saloon? How come you get all the cool activities and I get hog tying? Because this was my idea. Though it will be a shame that we're spending the first day of our honeymoon on the farm. Except we're not, because this is not our honeymoon. Okay, bye. Be safe. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? Oh, wonderful. In fact, we were just discussing your nuptials. Not the actual event, since neither of us were there. Guys, is this really why you're calling? Partly, yes. And we have news. Here's the good. MTA cameras show that Whitney's bags were left on the subway. Here's the bad news. They were stolen by a homeless man, but we put out a bolo. Hopefully, somebody will recognize him. Also, Lainey found something during her autopsy. She found traces of a wax-covered cardboard under Whitney's nails and on the waistband of her pants. Wax-covered cardboard? Like butcher paper? Well, Lainey says it's too hard to tell. What about you and Hopalong? Learn anything? Uh, well, so far, it looks like our victim was having an affair with a married man. But the problem is... His identity is a mystery. Well, speaking of mysteries, we spoke with Whitney's friends. They said prior to her departure, she was spending a good deal of time at the Historical Society. Do they know what she was doing there? Well, we're still looking into it, but... OK, guys, I, I, I got to go. Hey, Kate, wait, are you going to hog time class? Mm -hmm, yeah. Me too. Oh my god, we're going to have so much fun. Yeah, we sure are hog tying. Yeah. <laughs> 